I'm just going to show you how to use the counter string extension and all the source code for this is on github github.com slash evil tester slash counter string js now counter string is a very simple um, concept James Bach uh, created a tool called Perlclip. I think he initiated this concept and it's basically a string of characters where the asterisk represents the position in the string that the asterisk is. So this is a 15 character string. I know that because the asterisk is preceded by 15. So the asterisk is at character 15. What's useful about this is when I copy and paste something like this into a field, if it gets truncated down here, say it gets truncated and all I can see is this one, I know that it's nine here, so that's at position 10. So it, it helps me identify where we've got errors and truncations. Um, I've got some blog posts on this, there'll be links uh, at the bottom of the video. And the counter string extension, once you've installed it, you've loaded it in here, you'll see it as an extension. What I can do is I can then go to any field in a form, as long as it's not an iframe, as long as it's a field on a form, right click and there I can see generate counter string. By default, generate 100, so I'm going to say yes, let's have 100. Then I've got 100 characters in that field that I can then enter and search for. And then GitHub tells me it couldn't do that search because the search is longer than 128 28 characters. So I'm pretty sure that that, I'm going to copy and paste that. Now in the, when counter string works in the console, it should also generate out the um, string, but I didn't have the console enabled at that point. So if I take that string, paste it in there and just check the length of that, so that's 100. So GitHub is telling me that it only does 128, but I put in 100. Uh, all right, so let me drop that down to 96. Okay, GitHub still isn't happy. So I wonder what GitHub means by 128. Uh, let's chop this down a bit, go to 66. Okay, so GitHub's happy with 66. So this is this is where you start using the, the counter string, right? We've we've seen something that says, uh, no, it needs to be 128, but I only give you 100. So now it's handling 66. So um, let me try uh, 90. So it's happy with 90. Let's try 95. happy with 95 uh, so it was 100 we've tried 95 let's try 97 so it doesn't like 97 it didn't seem like okay 96 nope let's try 95 again So when GitHub says it must be 128 characters, what it means is 95. Okay, so that's the, that's what the counter string, that's exactly what the counter string concept is for, right? So that you've got a, a length that you're supposed to check against in the fields. You put the values in and you can start binary chopping to find the right one and you'll see whether there's an issue in the validation or not. So that's an example of how to use the counter string extension and how you use counter strings in your testing in general.